is Fatma Ghul's old fiance. He couldn't accept her marriage to Karem. He disturbs us all the time. Yes, he disturbs us. Was he the one who entered your house? He beat you and threatened your wife? Why didn't you make a claim? It's not like that. We were so scared because we thought he may come here again. We prevented him. Your story is a little bit confusing. At first, a prostitute is after your wife and then her old fiancé. He put that prostitute on Fatma Ghul's tail. It became clear. What do you have to do with the Yasaran family? We have nothing to do with them. When Ebenine was worried about your life, she blamed them for it, and your wife confirmed it. That's a misunderstanding as well. You're not telling the truth. I'll tell you the truth, officer. The Yasarans are from the same village with Miss Mary M. They even bought a house from her. And then Miss Mary M regrets it because she thinks that she sold it for a lesser price than its value. After that, she starts a quarrel. That kind of hostility is between them, and she's obsessed. Whatever happens, she holds them responsible for it. Oh, no. Karem, say something, would you please? You're just making me speak. She told you everything. Yes. Someone made a statement about Salim Yasaran in the local newspaper, you know? Did you hear about it? Yes, we heard about it. We heard about that gossip after leaving the village, but we don't know what it is. We don't know. I thought about him so, so much. I was wondering what I would do if I saw him. I was wondering if I could ever forgive him because he left me and found someone new. I was wondering if I could tell him to stop if he wanted to kill me. I know that I wouldn't do this, but I was scared if I forgot about everything as soon as I saw him. My anger swept away everything. There's nothing left inside of me. But you told him whatever you wanted to say. You must be relaxed a little bit. I have nothing inside of me, yet I'm not relaxed. I don't feel relaxed at all. There's a big hole inside of me. I feel the burden of this big hole. It feels like I'm struggling with an enemy whom I can't even see. I feel like I'm suffocating. You're still under the effect of those moments. But it'll be over soon. You know it will, right? It'll be over. How is he doing? Does he have pain? Unfortunately, it's not his wounds that give him pain. Veral, don't say that, please. Do you realize how bad Salim's situation is? Everyone is turning against me, but nobody stops to think how I'm feeling. He was dying, but you're fine. Aren't you still here? Didn't I have a right? She called me at the last minute and said you shouldn't marry that man. She said, listen, I'm telling you the truth. I don't care about her side. Didn't you talk to Karim? Didn't he tell you the truth? I think he did. I'm so confused. I don't know who to believe in. You're the one still talking about this. I can't really believe in you myself, Meltem. Good morning. Good morning. They're addressing the wound. Ah. Your mom called. She's on her way over. Oh, I told her Slim had gastric bleeding. Mm -hmm. You did good. going to take a walk or something. Melton, I'm coming with you. I need some fresh air. <sighs> now that you've prevented the officers from doing their job, I suppose you won't make a complaint about him. He hasn't done anything. He just went there and talked. Yeah, he just talked. Karim. You were beaten and you were threatened. Why aren't you making a complaint? Is there something that's forcing you not to? I'm not afraid of anything. He came and got his frustration out. I don't want anything to grow bigger, that's all, all right? He's right. There's no need for any trouble. May Allah give him some trouble. Where did Erdogan?
gone go at that early hour? Talking to you, what's going on? <sighs> come on, come on. Oh, <sighs> is he mad or something? Is he drunk or what? We'll tell her to gone, just forget about it. He stared at you as if he were going to kill you. Did something happen between you two? What? No, what could have happened? My dear Allah. <sighs> Erdogan made him mad. He thinks himself as superior, that's all. What happened? It's nothing. Let me see what you're hiding. It's nothing. But I saw it. Oh, you didn't see anything. We're home. Thank Allah. I was about to get worried. Karim, what happened? Home. Nothing. The police asked us some questions. We cleaned up your mess. You confused the police, and now we're the troubled family of the neighborhood. The police learned about the thing that happened that night. We said that he's her old fiance and that's it. We told a bunch of lies. The police asked Karem if he was gonna make a complaint. He didn't make one. Murat, put your clothes on. Where are we going? To look for a house. We're not safe here, Miriam. We have to find another place right away. I know, honey. I've been busy looking for a house in the newspaper. We came here to hide. Now everyone knows where we live. Never mind Mustafa, but the Yeserans are really dangerous. We have to run away immediately. Why do we have to run away? Why should we be afraid of them? What if they come back? Do you want them to harm all of us? Will I continue my life by escaping from them? Won't they ever leave me alone? Your sister-in-law is just afraid they might come back here again and harm us, Fatma Ghul. I'm not afraid of anyone. If they go further, I won't keep my mouth shut. She may be right. They'll think about it. Maybe they won't disturb us, okay? Yes, maybe. My life is precious, okay? I don't care about how courageous you are. That man came here and told her they're going to kill our entire family. They can do it, you know? I can't put my son's life in danger. They can do what they want. If we go, I won't leave my sister here. I won't leave Fatma Ghul. How far can we run away, brother? I don't want a troubled life anymore. I don't want to be afraid. I want to live without fear. Rami, put his clothes on. Come on. I want to have a job. I want to work. I want to have a normal life. You have the right to want many things. However, we have to find a permanent solution to this. <sighs> hey, where are you going? Tell me. I'm going to take a walk. By myself, please. He's been going through an awful lot. You know what I mean. What can I say? Are you okay?